and uh, welcome back. Uh, I'm Ed Lucas. This is my handsome, handsome brother, Freddie. Thank you. So welcome back. This is vlog number six, and uh, six. we just keep cranking them out. We're probably going to slow down a little bit and go to maybe what do we talk about? Maybe one a week. Yeah. So uh, maybe. You know, there's a lot of editing and stuff, so uh, I'd like to make them a little bit better too, you know, so. Uh, got a little bit of a feedback, and someone suggested that Fred tell a few of his dating stories. And uh, we were talking like about it. it. We're going to have to have to weed out a few because Fred's aren't, aren't mainstream. We'll say that, all right? Is that fair to say? Uh, Freddie's uh, fun. So Let's anyway, uh, yeah, we want to get Fred going, and... Uh, Hear a little bit good. about him. People want to learn more about Fred. Apparently, I'm I'd not like as that. popular. So, but I'm not as good looking either. So, no, you know, just goes to show you. Um, yeah, someone reminded me of a story. So, uh, let's do this, and we'll come right back, and we'll get right down to it. All right, Fred? Very good. Right on. Now here we go. Uh, talking to somebody, a friend of mine, uh, reminded me of a story. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever done this, but have you ever walked out on a date? <laughs> uh, there's, I guess, a bunch of reasons why you could, but uh, yeah, there was one. Uh, early on, when I first started dating, um, she was a young lady, uh, very attractive too. And the one thing I found so interesting about her <clears throat> was she uh, was into sailing. Now, I had just bought a sailboat cool. at the time, and uh, I, remember I was that still boat. learning, so uh, she was very knowledgeable. It was, it was actually pretty amazing. She was sailing since she was a kid. She was so good that she would go on uh, a few month cruises on those race boats that go you know, across Australia, and uh, it, it was really pretty exciting, I thought. So uh, I, cool. I really was intrigued, and I wanted to meet her, and I wanted to hear all about it, because that's, that's pretty amazing. So, uh, yeah, we met at a, uh, a, a, a restaurant. So we met at a restaurant, uh, something like that. And I shouldn't even mention the name because they're not paying me. So let's bleep that out. Yeah, the money. So we met at a restaurant, and uh, we sat down, and uh, you know she started no talking Starbucks. about sailing. The waitress came right over, and uh, you know asked what we wanted. And I said, well, let's start with a couple of sodas. So uh, that's what we did. And uh, this girl started to talk, and I mean talk, not like irregular, you know, like we do, Fred. Well, you're kind of quiet, yeah. but you know, a, a, a conversation. She did not have a conversation. She got it was a filibuster. I think that's the word. She wouldn't shut up. It was like a chainsaw on high. Just bah, 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 bah. I did this. I did that. I did this. So I wanted to join in the conversation, you know. So I, I said something. She goes, "Excuse me, I'm not done." And then she kept talking, bah, 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 bah. and uh, I was a little put off, you know, I didn't know what to do, right? Would you? Uh, no. Exactly. I, right so, now, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I tried to interject again, she goes, excuse me, I'm not done talking. So at this point, I really don't know what to do. So it goes on for several minutes, nonstop. It just goes, and it's me, 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 me. <laughs> And uh, I am so turned off at this point. I don't care if this chick walked on the moon in a bikini. I, I, I don't give a shit now. So I, I just want to cold. So uh, the waitress comes over and she shut up. And the waitress says, uh, yeah, you know, what, can I get you something to eat? And I, I reached in my pocket. I grabbed out $20. I said, you know, get the lady whatever she likes. 20 I threw bucks, it down big and spender. I walked out. And as I'm walking... Whatever you want. You can see Off our the table kids was in a weird spot where it was the whole length of the restaurant and then the door. <laughs> and when I opened the door, I looked back and her and the waitress are standing there looking at each other with their jaws dropped. I was like, oh, wow. Maybe that excellent. was a little harsh. But uh, right. yeah, I don't, I don't got do over rude. Um, and that to me was incredibly rude. Uh, later on, I got a text and she says, you know, I didn't know what happened and whatever. Uh, she said she got, gets nervous. Oh. on a date and when she gets nervous she talks a lot and i said okay. that's not Maybe. talking a lot i talk a lot fred doesn't you do you but do I talk, talk a lot you she do. was just rude so uh i really up, had no actually. problem leaving so anyway uh you know what 
I'm waiting for a package, Fred. Oh, that um, one. Let me get this door. Okay, Fred, just take care of this, please. Uh, everybody, Fred. Hello. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Great. All right. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Hey, I'm back. Hey. So, how was it, Fred? You all right? I handled it. You all right, Fred? Sir, it's a piece of cake, bro. Right. Got this. So, uh, that's that story. Uh, I have another one, but... Uh, all right. Come on. Do I'm going to do another one. One more, Fred. Same deal, though. It's only six minutes. Uh, I met this girl, and she only had one photograph. And this is one of my rules now back then. It wasn't... Uh, it wasn't one of Ed's rules, so the it was from face, her neck, the up, full body, right? very pretty picture. Uh, I don't know how to use my camera. She had a million excuses on why she can't get it, but yeah. whatever. So I figured I'd, I'd meet her for a drink. Again, another rule broken. Uh, right, well, Starbucks, bro. Made because of that date. Starbucks um, number one, drink number Coffee on the two. first date, not a drink. So uh, I text her, call or whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm on my way there. She says, I'm here. I'm standing outside. So I figured I'd just cruise around. Let me tell you something. Um, <coughs> this here was her silhouette. Okay. Oh. What do you do, right? I, I honestly, because I felt I was lied to and and, and uh, deceived, I, I was mm -hmm. just going to drive away. Honestly, I was. I was just going to so. tell her I can't make it and drive away. All of a sudden, she's on the phone. I see you. And she's waving. Oh Busted. my God! Crap! That is her. It's that silhouette. So, uh, yeah, so she got me. So I went in. We sat down. I wasn't happy. I wasn't attracted. You know, it's like, why no. be there? And then she, the conversation sucked anyway. Um, you don't like the outfit? So Hitchcock as soon look? as we finished, we each had a beer. As soon as we, we were done, I was like, listen, I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. Uh, if the bartender comes by, just tell him to square up and I'll pay when I get back. Wash your hands so, when you were uh, done. I go to the bathroom. I come back. It's like, he always washes his hands. Three minutes. There's two fresh beers on the table. I'm like, don't tell me the bartender <laughs> bought back. What bartender buys back on the I first go round? To that. No, I ordered two more. Let's uh, go. Well, I I said we were gonna go. I was done. So uh, again with the money, boom. Enjoy your beers. Twenty bucks. Have a nice night. Thanks for coming. Big spender. And I walked out. This guy's that. Uh, he treats I guess him good. I'm a bit this of guy. A dick. But uh, a little bit. You know, the the chick obviously it's right, she deserved it. was hiding she the fact it. that she was really overweight. Thank you. When you are on these dating sites, they ask you to describe your body. Right. No, I'm what are you, not athletic. You're athletic? <clears throat> right. I'm average, Fred. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, she wrote average. Average is probably the most overused, abused term on online dating. It is. Um, you know, For maybe sure. she's average in her office. One woman <laughs> once told me she was the thinnest one in her office. I was right. like, well, you know, I'm the hottest one in this room right now. She got. So anyway, I felt that uh, being lied to, deceived, I really didn't owe her much. I bought her the beers and uh, Cause you're good I'm like going to recoup my night, so I left. Yeah, you would have left too. Don't don't even say I would have been out don't of there even. before that. I wouldn't have left the money All either. Right. Well, anyway, blog number six is down. Six. Done. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. We got to get those yeah. subscribers Little up. Red we button. need uh, five thousand by the end of the year. It's a goal. It's not this need, far it's a goal. away. And uh, please leave comments. Whatever you got, yeah, suggestions, man. ideas. One comment Thank got you, me the Mr. The H for leaving that the spotlight idea. And I think we're going to run with it. We're going to talk a little bit tonight. Dude, and uh, I like that idea. Out. All right. You saw me in action. Take care. Good. See you next time. Thanks. See you later. Thanks for watching. Weed out a few because Fred's aren't aren't mainstream. We'll say that, all right? Is that fair to say? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, we want to get Fred going and uh, hear a little bit about him. People want to learn more about Fred. Apparently, that was good. That was a good show. A good video blog. 
That was pretty long. Nine minutes, bro. They're fun. They're fun. I'm a fun guy. Damn it. Look at the All that. On.